Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Poppy Britt and I'm back with another video. Before we get started, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if there's any other videos you want to see from me from here on out. I love getting recommendations and finding out what you all like to see from me, what you want me to talk about, stuff like that. So if you have anything you want me to talk about or want me to do, let me know. I love getting recommendations. So today I wanted to talk about just the things and habits that I picked up at the beginning of quarantine that I hope to continue after just because I feel like I went into quarantine as one person and I'm definitely gonna come out of it as a whole different person I just feel like overall it's improved my physical emotional mental health and so I really do hope to continue these habits and had it not been for quarantine I don't think I would have taken the step to actually get into doing some of these things I was kind of hesitant to make this video just because I didn't know if anyone would actually even give a shit but honestly I figured I would just do it even just for myself because I am in this period of my life where I just want to evolve and grow as a person and even if no one gives a shit I hope to look back at this video in one or two or three or however many years and just see all of the improvements that I've made or see the difference that making these changes in my life will do for me because right now I just feel like I'm planting the seed and hopefully in the future I get to look back at it and be like you know what shout out to past Brit who took the time the effort the energy to do these things so that me right now or future me could be better so if no one gives a shit at least i'll have this for myself and that's all that matters without further ado here are the five things that i started doing during quarantine that i hope to continue in the future the first one is spirituality i've gotten super into my spirituality since quarantine began i was beginning to get interested in spirituality when before covid but during covid it really gave me time to sit down and actually learn about it and what i mean by spirituality does not mean religion and stuff like that i have always thought that spirituality meant religion and the church and stuff like that and i was just like not me not today satan i don't like certain views that the church has and so i would have always said i wasn't spiritual come to find out i'm a very spiritual being it's just in other forms that aren't i don't know how to describe it non-traditional but i wouldn't even say it's non-traditional because indigenous people have practiced these forms of spirituality for ever like since the beginning of time and so i would just say it's different than what people usually practice i've gotten really into curanderismo into herbs and natural remedies into tarot into law of attraction all of that stuff basically just stuff to heal you physically mentally spiritually to guide you honestly it's made such a difference in my life it's changed my perspective the way i speak about myself the way i speak about the world how i go about asking god or the universe for stuff and how i express gratitude and i really do hope to continue in the future because i like 110 percent believe in it i was telling my dad about it and he was like maybe it's just placebo maybe you're just making yourself believe that it's good or that it works and honestly i don't care if it's placebo or whatever like it's something that's working for me that's making me feel healthier and happier so i don't care where it's coming from or whatever or if people think it's real it's real to me that's it anyways number two is kind of in line with number one and it is meditation it's crazy to even hear myself say that because if you had told me at the beginning of quarantine that five months later i'd be preaching about meditating i would think you're crazy and the reason is i just didn't even know what it really meant i was like i can't sit down for 20 minutes shut up close my eyes and be still and not think about shit like i can't do that i can't just like turn everything off what i've come to realize is that meditating isn't shutting everything off it's being an observer of your thoughts when you're still and calm and not focused on any outside forces or things 
and just really looking deep inside you and seeing what thoughts pop up what feelings pop up and what that means for you what you're gonna do about it how to process them stuff like that changing my perspective about that has really changed my perspective about meditation in general so now i meditate minimum like three four times a week i try to do it every day but it's just hard out here okay i'm still trying to figure out my work gym life schedule at the moment so i i don't do it every day but i would love to i started going to a weekly cannabis guided meditation class every wednesday and when i'm not there i have videos on youtube that i'll just listen to there's videos that you can look up they just guide you through different meditations it just allows you to relax and hone in on what you want to manifest or what you want to work on and stuff like that number three go along with meditation kind of it is yoga which another thing that if you told me you're gonna get into yoga I'd be like really but honestly yoga is something that I've always been interested in but first of all to be a hundred percent honest I thought it was for like suburban moms who just needed an hour break from their kids and husband I always thought of it as something that I just didn't have access to and urban sanctuary the place that I've been going to for both my meditation and my yoga really changed my perspective on that although the membership may be a little more expensive it's honestly an investment for myself i think of it as preventative health care as well so i'm willing to invest that money and i know not everybody has a privilege to do so but honestly even just online there's classes to that you can learn from if you're able to i would highly recommend urban sanctuary denver right now has free classes for people of color there is a men's one on saturday and and a general people of color one on wednesdays i believe it kind of changes but they have an app urban sanctuary another thing with that is just figuring out what yoga works for you my roommate had also wanted to do yoga for a really long time we finally went to a hot yoga and she really in enjoys that so she started going weekly and i hated it well i didn't hate it it's just hot as fuck it's really advanced and i felt like i was in the military getting yelled at so it wasn't really my thing but that's the thing is finding a place that works for you that makes you happy and that's what urban sanctuary is for me just because they have so many different types of yoga they have tap and flow yoga they have tarot and yoga they have cannabis and yoga they have so many different varieties to choose from and it also incorporates that spiritual aspect that i enjoy so find whatever works for you give it a try it, it really isn't for everybody but i'm really glad i found it and i hope i continue it after my fourth one is scripting which also kind of goes hand in hand with basically everything else i've mentioned scripting in general about things i want to manifest things i've been thinking things i want to work through things i want to let go of writing in general and figuring out how to use that to my advantage has been really really good to me i've always really enjoyed writing i just never really took the time to do it and even now it's a little hard for me just like i said there's so many other things going on and i just saw this idea on twitter to kind of start a prayer journal where you just pray for and manifest certain things and then to come back and date when that prayer or that thing is answered and i really think i'm gonna take that on because it just seems like such a good idea and then you can express gratitude and just see it come full circle so writing in general has been really therapeutic lastly is reading another thing that i really 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 enjoyed when i was little was reading i would always 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 be reading honestly school kind of took the fun out of reading for me as an ethnic studies women's studies and sociology student all i did was read and sometimes it was really overwhelming and a lot to process it just took the fun out of reading for me but i've gotten back into reading i've gotten really into self-help books and books that put you on game about certain stuff life and being successful and those i've really appreciated because i'm like i said working on trying to be be better and if i have free time i want to read and i want to read something that's going to be beneficial to me and teach me new things and actually keep me interested so reading has been really good to me and just really changed my perspective on so many things so i've really enjoyed reading it also really calms me I'll turn my little candles on have my little nightlight and just be reading and not only am i relaxed but i'm also learning so like reading is cool you should do it too and if i don't have time to read i'll listen to podcasts which 
which is another thing that I really didn't do before quarantine just because I thought podcasts were like the ones where like they say horror stories and stuff like that I don't know what I thought podcasts were really honestly I found some really good spiritual ones too like spiritual shape I really enjoy which is a podcast so if I don't have time to read and we listen to podcasts another thing I took on during quarantine anyways those are the five habits or things that I picked up during quarantine that I hope I can continue after quarantine and just forever honestly because as you can tell they're all somehow some way focused on health and that's really what I'm on right now I have really noticed that they've made a difference I feel so much healthier and happier in general and I'm so glad that quarantine gave me that time to self-reflect and realize that the way I was living was just not sustainable for me and I know that it's a really privileged thing to say to say that like quarantine was a blessing because it really wasn't for so many people but I really am thankful that I, I got this reality check basically because at the beginning of quarantine I was just trying to still keep up with the life that I was that I had before which was drinking and doing stuff that just wasn't healthy for me I realized that it wasn't sustainable to drink every weekend and so I had to fill my time with different things and I figured why not make it things that are gonna make me a better person that are gonna make me healthier and so yeah I got myself some plant I keep looking over there because I have all my little plantitas over there flowers I give myself every week candles crystals herbs my coloring books my book also all of the stuff that I've bought because basically that whole little setup is brand new and it started during quarantine and yeah it's another thing now I'm addicted to buying crystals and different spiritual stuff but it's okay it's an investment in myself anyways that's basically it let me know in the comments below what habits you may have left behind that you hope you leave behind during quarantine or that you picked up during quarantine and that you hope to continue or what form of self-care you practice and enjoy i love learning and connecting with people especially about things like this so let me know in the comments below and yeah that's basically it thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and let me know if there's any other videos you want to see from me in the meantime make sure to take care of yourself and be kind to yourself and I'll see you in the next video.